In this video, we will learn about a very important concept of real analysis and something that we uh, use quite often in natural numbers and real numbers is the Bernoulli's inequality. Now, Bernoulli, Bernoulli's inequality actually says that if you have any real number x greater than minus 1, okay, negative 1, then a 1 plus x whole to the power n is always greater than or equal to greater than or equal to 1 plus n x for any n belonging to n belonging to the set of natural numbers. So, you have two things in hand you have x which belongs to r you have n which belongs to the set of natural numbers n. So, this is a proof, we will try to prove it using induction, proof using induction. Let us see how we do it. Okay. So, induction, what is the first step that we should do? induction done for the natural number n, induction with respect to n. So, the first step is that we check for, we check the statement for n equals to 1. So, let us check the statement for n equals to 1. So, if I have 1 plus x and you know x is any a real number greater than minus 1. 1 plus x will be greater than or equal to 1 plus x. Do we agree on that? Do we agree on that? Yes. Okay. So, this is true. This is true. So, n e for n equals to 1 the statement is true. Now, second we will assume let us suppose the inequality holds true for n, okay, for n. Then what will we do? What is our task? Then we need to prove it for prove it for n plus 1 n plus 1 okay okay so we have assumed that 1 plus x to the power n is greater than or equal to 1 plus nx that is something that we have assumed okay assumed and we need to prove for 1 plus x to the power n plus 1 that this is greater than or equal to 1 plus n plus 1 x. Okay? So, that is what we have to do. Okay, so, uh, let us start off. Let us start off with 1 plus x to the power n plus 1. 1 plus x to the power n plus 1. So, that equals to, I can just break it up. I can say that this equals to 1 plus x to the power n into 1 plus x. That is what is the meaning of 1 plus uh, x to the power n plus 1. Okay. So, that should be greater than or equal to, that should be greater than or equal to 1 plus n x multiplied by 1 plus x. Why are we saying so? We are saying so because this thing, let me just change the color and this thing is greater than or equal to 1 plus n x and this thing is greater than or equal to 1 plus x. We have already proved that. We have assumed this. We have proved this, right? So, I can quote it like this. Now, Next, what we have? So, we will just calculate what we have in hand. So, 
this actually equals to gives me the product is 1 plus n plus 1 into x plus n x square okay plus n x square that is what the product will come out to be. Now, this thing will be strictly greater than or equal to greater than or equal to 1 plus n plus 1 x. Well, why is that so? Because x square for any real number will be greater than or equal to 0. Okay? So, this term will be greater than or equal to 0. This is because because n is greater than 0 and x square is greater than 0 and therefore n x square will be always greater than 0. Okay? So, that is why and hence we have proved our Bernoulli's inequality which says that if x is greater than if x is greater than minus 1, okay, x is any real number greater than minus 1, then the inequality which is that 1 plus x to the power n is greater than or equal to 1 plus nx holds for any natural number n.